dog. This is gonna be great. We're doing good. We're doing well. So doing far so good. good. We've uh, succeeded three times. Yeah, we're three for three for four technically. Yeah. 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 Three for four. Um, One guy sucked. <laughs> Don't buy so weed on Craigslist. Right. Party girl 2018. Hey Oh, are you going to the show? Can't do it. So, I'm really smart and I didn't bring my bike. I don't know if you can hear this or not. No! Are you serious? You're a hero. You're oh a my hero. god, that is so oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, oh my god. Thank you. You're amazing. You are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so this bartender here gave us this Mardi Gras cake. And apparently it's a tradition where if you find a baby in the cake, like a little toy baby, uh, you get good luck for a year. Um, so I was like, yo, I love cake. If you're trying to get rid of cake, well, give me some. And they gave me like literally 12 pieces of cake. Uh, so if there's not a baby in here, I'm going to be a little upset. So I'm going to have a baby this year. Yeah. So it is officially Mardi Gras and we are on the way to the crew of Rex parade, right? That's right. I got it right this time. That's exciting. Aside from everything, um, I'm going to see how much I'm going to vlog today. <laughs> See how that goes. <laughs> no promises. It is crazy. Like these costumes and all. Like I, if I knew it was this crazy, I totally would have like dressed up in some crazy costume. But look at that, like the raggedy ass. Still, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. We've been looking forward to this. Yeah, this is a bucket list thing that you just kind of have to do once. But now we have to do it again because we have to get a cool costume. Yeah, I want to dress up as a dinosaur. I'm, I really want to be a princess or. Um, the Power Rangers. Yeah, the Power Rangers. That'd be, that'd be cool. <laughs> it's so bright, I can't see anything. It's the craziest thing though, that like, it's legal to drink in the streets. So we just ordered beers to go. Like this is the coolest thing, that you can just casually walk across a beer. It's so cool, you can just casually walk across the road with the beer. I'm a terrible influence, which is why I make YouTube videos. <laughs> the best line you can possibly say. It's day three in New Orleans, and so far we have learned not to buy weed on Craigslist. <laughs> and uh, I did like a, I was at a restaurant, and I was like panning up, and uh, a guy sitting across from me, like as soon as he saw me with like a camera, he like put his hood up and like put his head down. And I'm like, dude, like, what are you trying to hide? Like, I'm just trying to make some stupid videos. Give me a break. Sick drug addict, are you? So Mardi Gras was yesterday, and now it's actually a really way cooler of a city because it's not super crowded, and you can actually walk in the streets now, which is great. Uh, it's, it's also significantly easier to find food and cross streets because when there's Mardi Gras parades, there's no possible way to get onto the other side of the street. Oh, it's right there. Big Easy product design. Let's make it. Our new brand. What, designing stupid things that work? Yeah, we'll make a, a dry rack with a giant opening. We'll make cupcakes. We got cupcakes today. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. They're not good, though. They're not real cupcakes, but they are real cupcakes. But they are, like, cup. They're in cups, and it's cake. It's, it's just cake in a cup, not a cupcake. It's not a cupcake. It's more bread. I mean, cupcakes should not be able to do this. It's a little weird. <laughs> we're good, we're good. <laughs> not a glass pipe. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Hope you can edit anything. <laughs> Mardi Gras was fun, though. Didn't really vlog a bunch, because I didn't want anything to get stolen. And I was really tired at like 3 o'clock and took a nap. We got drunk. Yeah. I definitely think that it is really difficult to do things in this town. Absolutely. It's not a big easy town. <laughs> yes, yes. I think we're just so like used to Chicago and like the crazy like hustle bustle. Everyone's going here and there and here people walk like negative two miles an hour. Yes. They're it's it's really stressful. We've cut around a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> And then they yell at us, and it's like, sorry, you're fast walkers. <laughs> Don't you know where we're from? <laughs> not. I'm honestly still laughing, because maybe on their menu, 
They have cupcake. Like, it's two separate words. It's not a cupcake. Yeah. It's it's, but you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it has to make sense. But. I'm just really still. upset about this cupcake. I like cupcakes. It's really windy. Don't know if you can hear me. It is now day four. Uh, we were walking to the ferry to go back downtown, grab some food, and check out some voodoo shops. Uh, we're walking and we saw this beach boat launch thing that has this abandoned um, like wheelchair type thing and it's all burnt up which is kind of creepy and then also this looks like an abandoned um, like boat launch and the ground is covered in shells but I don't think we're supposed to be over here this says no trespassing so sorry New Orleans So sunburnt. <laughs> That's terrible already. Look. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. It smells like bad decisions. I did not enjoy that at all. I promise. I said I promise. Don't laugh. One last trick. What's your name, buddy? James. Come here, James. Any card that you see face up on the table, take it. It doesn't matter if I see what you choose. I've seen the trick before. Go ahead. The nine of hearts. I feel almost bad for that guy. We just watched a magic trick and he picked a volunteer and this guy, he was like, hold your card up. I want you to breathe on it on both sides. Not like that, I was about to tell you how, watch. <laughs> you're gonna do it like this, you're gonna take the card, you're gonna raise it high above your head. And this guy like wouldn't hold it up because he didn't want to look silly. High above your head so everyone can see. I said high above your head, full arm extension, buddy. I'm not, I'm not compliant. I'm not gonna... Oh, it's, it's not really to make you look silly. This is so I can have fun, damn it. Just do it. Why the hell are you volunteering at a magic show if you don't want to look silly? Alright, we're gonna go back, nap, grab some food, and then go on a ghost tour. Like coffins. They take these 13 oddly shaped boxes of miscellaneous storage along with another group of items, also on the ship's log, 666 silver nails. Apparently at this location, it is called the Sultan's Palace. If you walk underneath this walkway right here, something will follow you home. I forgot my Ouija board I mean, again. Machete will follow you. I know, I'm really sad I didn't bring my Ouija board, um, but here, here we go. Hopefully something follows me home. The tour guide, I'm gonna walk backward. We're, we're gonna like double do this, you know? Something, oh something better be following me home. I'm gonna be upset. Um, the tour guide was saying how a cat followed her home. I got some cats at home. Let's see what else we can attract. I am going to climb that. Oh, not climbing. Uh, so we're walking towards the Market Street factory. It was an old power plant. Now it's abandoned. Um, I actually don't know if it's like legal to go in this or not. There hasn't been any signs yet that say no trespassing. Um, and it is in a pretty like public area, just kind of hanging out in the middle of nowhere next to the river. We made it inside through a little break in some boards. Um, this is super cool in here. I cannot wait to take some pictures. That's how I was going to say, that's the one you were talking about getting caught. But that's when I was like, oh shit, I'm pretty high now because I'm actually paranoid. I like, think. I have no like, inherent understanding of what I was feeling while doing it. Really? I have like no. I, I, I never get paranoid. Like, anytime I've ever smoked weed, I've never been like, oh my god, somebody's gonna. Like, I've never had the no. Not even like when I was in high school or anything. It's more like I'm not like, oh my god, it's gonna happen right now. You know, yeah. It's more just like, oh shit, well, whatever. Be careful. Yeah. yeah. So we made it out safe, found some more cool graffiti. 
that was probably one of the coolest places that I've ever gotten high. Um, I know my friend was just telling me that they got high in Machu Picchu and that's super cool. So I want to know where the coolest place that you guys have ever gotten high at. Like on top of a mountain, like in a desert, just like in your parents like bathroom. I don't really know why that would be a thing, but if it is, you do you I guess. Um, so we're going to go adventure a little bit more. Thanks Obama. I was just taking a picture of that. Now, this is the <laughs> funniest awesome. thing I've seen today. This is super cool. Yeah, so I, I leave in the comments or follow me or hashtag or do all that stuff that kids do these days. Um, and let me know like the coolest place you guys have ever gotten high or done anything illegal. Just kidding, I don't actually want to know that. It's so convenient that they left a fire hydrant leaking here for us so we can wash our hands. Give a thumbs up. De-sterilize. They're not de-sterilized. Actually sterilized. Tonight is our last night here and we have a flight at like 5 a.m. or something like that so we're like we might as well just stay up all night and kind of go adventure and explore. Um, we were looking up some stuff and we found a bunch of abandoned places but it's impossible to find the locations because no one wants to tell you where these cool places are. Uh, so what did you, you watched a documentary? Yeah, went through the credits of a documentary trying to find this place's name because it doesn't come up on Google Maps at all. So we found it. It supposedly was erased from U.S. history because it was... It was like a Nazi internment camp. So they were not exactly people we wanted to share information about. Um, but so, yeah, they kind of just decommissioned it and didn't really ever put it on Google Maps or anything. So it's a completely unknown location. Nothing you can search to get there. Eventually, watching these credits, found out that there's a 1935 map of Camp Algier, as well as the entire military station, which is right here. Oh, we can't tell people where it is. Oh. That's the thing. We're still going to hide it as well. We're, we're going to hide it, because we did all the research to find this. <laughs> Thank you, Joe, for finding this. Of course. That's exciting. I'm uh, so yeah, this will be exciting. Um, hopefully we don't get caught. Would now be a really bad time to tell you I'm scared of the dark? Yeah. But you'll be okay. Or is that just like wind? Or is that a mirror? No. It's scary! It's a person. They weren't even inside. No, they, they weren't? Were over here. Yeah. Well, they actually. I thought they were like standing. I say about the door. The creepy ass doorway. Oh, yeah, sure. Also, careful stepping here. Oh! <laughs> Okay, actually, these are pretty. 420! You gotta put it right here. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Ah. Broken down buildings. Yeah, contract, contract. Well, it used to be an elevator. Step in. That's funny. So again, this is a retirement home. Um, so all these rooms are just essentially uh, dorm rooms with like bathrooms connecting. So it's just very like cookie cutter. Um, same thing keeps going on. Found some mold and stuff. Lots of gravel, lots of debris. Yeah, lots. Of, what? First, I thought that was a big rat. Um, that's the back. And this though is a nice little balcony of some sort. Alright, we just want to story, right? Story, yeah. Well, a nice little courtyard. Yeah. Drugs. <laughs> what is that? I see nothing. Someone has stolen the drug stash. Where are they? Where are the drugs? I will. We are on cat count 13, I believe. But we got little weenie count number one. You're a stinker. You smell bad. A little bit. So adventure place number one, the ret 
retirement home was cool. We're gonna go back so we can charge everything because my phone no longer can record any video. So it's gonna die in about 30 seconds. So I don't even think this is gonna be a recording because it won't save this. Oh. So we will see you at the... Airbnb? No, at the... Um, the Nazi place. Oh, yeah, the Nazi camp? Yeah. Algiers camp. Yeah, see you there. We are at abandoned place number three. Um, a little bit sketchier than the last two places, I'd say. It's in a super residential area. Um, but there's, there's. There might be some bar up over Yeah. There's an entrance over there. Oh, there's an entrance. There's an entrance. <laughs> there's a guy outside feeding some cats. He was cool. I asked if we were lost. We are not lost, but we do not know where we are. <laughs> or how to get in here. Nice. Okay, we got to this abandoned um, war facility place and there's this little town of all these houses but now they're all demolished so there's just staircases there's a this is where the house was and this is the family like the guy who had a hammer and it's the chimney i don't know if you can see this look at that and look at another step, step by look step thing Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. I'm in a <laughs> chimney. You just said that on your vlog, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you should pause and look over here. Put your camera down for a moment. Actually, have your camera back up. Now, get rid of it. Gotcha. I don't even know if you're looking at the camera. Alright, I'm gonna get off this chimney because I'm no longer Santa. So one of the cabins has been preserved. We think this is the original foundation, but obviously this is all new construction. Um, that's the original uh, chimney too. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm videoing as much as possible and taking as much pictures as I can um, in case I see any cool pictures when I'm editing for like any paranormal activity. All right, we're in the house. This looks like some PT shit. <laughs> What do you ask? Do you think you're gonna preserve, is this the preserved original wood? I think it has to be because it's the original foundation. That's a fireplace. But the chimney's over there. I don't feel any like paranormal presence. But I mean, if anyone's here, just come out and hang out. We want to be your friend. Serious question, if there's anyone here, do Ouija boards like piss you off or are they like cool? Like, do you like interacting with people or not? Foundation, there's no basement. That's not, that's, that's not a basement, it's just like what the house is built on. Does it even have like any kind of, just No, because like, there's too many floods over here. That is a good point. That's why I'm doing yeah. built on. You're right. Well, do you want to try to go up there anymore? I don't think you could. So, They don't want to come out, That's, they don't have to, but if they do, like, that'd be cool to hang out with them. Yeah, they should probably chill. Let's hear hanging out with ghosts. That's like from the garage. Yeah. Is that a hot dog maker? Or a grilled cheese maker? Like, the punchy, like the punchy pies? Yeah, you might be right. That's probably what they're doing to eat. What is it though? Yeah, it's a torture device. Yeah. It looks like what you said. Okay. Those things that they eat. Just together. 
Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Whoever lives here, they lived here. If you were still around, thank you very much. You've been very nice. I'm going through all the footage of the abandoned places, and in the second place that we went to, I stopped recording at exactly 9 minutes and 10 seconds, and you can clearly tell that I turned my phone off and put the phone back in my pocket. Um, so obviously it stopped recording, but for some reason there's an extra 2 minutes and some seconds of pretty much nothing. Uh, there's no audio, no video. It's also on my phone too, um, and the computer, so it's not like something happened during uh, the transferring process. I just don't know how that extra just blank space got there. I'm going to run it through Audition and kind of play with some audio stuff, see if I can pick up anything. Uh, also going to do some video stuff just to see what happens. If anything exciting happens, I'll insert it right here. If not, explain to me what happened, because my prediction is ghosts. If not, then... It's still probably ghosts. It is really hot out. I'm very sweaty. It's super humid. Um, again, my lenses are all foggy because it's so humid. I'm not used to this climate. Neither is my equipment. <laughs> so I do apologize if it is super blurry. That is not my fault. We finished with all the spooky stuff today. I took a ton of pictures. I'll insert some in this video. Um, if not, I'll probably put them all on my Instagram or my Facebook. If you're not friends with me, then you should do that because I'm kind of cool sometimes, except when I'm not. Uh, aside from all that though, I would love to use some of these pictures for any type of like music art stuff So if you ever need any like gig posters or just like album art or anything like that um, I think it'd be super cool to use some of these so if you're interested in that for any reasons uh, Then just let me know I can send you a bunch of examples and some cool stuff All in all successful trip to New Orleans uh, Definitely want to come back sometime Mardi Gras was fun Don't know if I would do a whole like full day of Mardi Gras again Maybe one like one day, but that's it because I couldn't do more than that yeah. <laughs> it's exhausting. That was I had a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a great time. Great place. I want you to visit. Yeah, super cool. Uh, if you're a vegetarian here, you might have some issues eating like I did. As for non-vegetarian folk, the gumbo is also worth a shot. And uh, po' boy is pretty good. Muffaletta is pretty good. What was that super uh, puffy sandwich you had? That was the muffaletta. The yeah. one at the restaurant. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So with all that said, um, if you care about any of my next adventures, be on the lookout for that. I will post some. Um, coming up pretty soon and with all that said like and subscribe and do all that other stuff because that's what people do these days I typically don't because I don't like social media which explains why I have 14 accounts yeah um, anyway see you on the next adventure